Warning, this video will have really crappy audio, so, uh, yeah, brace yourselves. Alright, hello, and welcome to this video. It's pretty cool. I'm gonna be installing Windows 3.1. It's pretty cool. And, uh, yeah, it was fun, and, yeah, it's pretty self-explanatory. Um, anyways, you're gonna wanna go ahead and get, to, um, uh, VirtualBox, which is a pretty cool emulator, um, you use it, and, uh, yeah, you can just look it up on Google, and it's pretty pretty easy to find um however i find that uh, sometimes they'll come across with problems and that's okay but if, if there's any issues with the new virtual box and, and ask me even though I, I might not be able to help you because i'm not the best at virtual box then i still do something Anyways, so, uh, you've, uh, gotta go ahead and type in, um, Windows 3.1, because that's what you're, you're doing. I mean, yeah, and the version should come up with Windows 3.1. If it doesn't, then that sucks, just go ahead and do it. And, uh, okay. I've, uh, come across some technical difficulties. Alright, okay, I figured out the problem. It was my fault. I'm sorry. You just, yeah, you do Windows 3.1, you're good. Click next. And, um, after that, you, uh, you, you, you just, yeah. You just click next a whole lot, pretty much. Do 32 megabytes, because that's pretty much what you need. Um, yeah, create a virtual hard disk now. Go ahead and do VDI. Uh, that's the best one you can choose. Do dynamically allocated. And uh, do one gigabyte. And uh, make sure it says Windows 3.1. Then um, you are going to settings. Which is right there. And, um, then you go into storage, which is right there. And you go into the floppy, floppy, controller floppy thing. And, uh, you go into the empty. And, uh, click the little disk thing. And, uh, go ahead and install MS DOS 6.22. Because that's what you need to be able to do this. That's what Windows 3.1 runs on. So, go ahead and get it from, like, Windworld or something. I found, um, I found it pretty easy to get that from Windworld. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, go ahead and, uh, just, uh, open up MS-DOS 6.22. Um, I'm sorry, just a second. Alright, anyways, you're in there. Go ahead and do Disk 1, the setup disk. You'll use the others later, don't worry. Uh, you okay. And, um, yeah, you're pretty much good. Um, so, uh, go ahead and click start. And, uh, yeah, just wait a second or two. There you go. You got a virtual box with a little cute little thing. And, uh, we'll say welcome to the setup. Or whatever, just pretty much press enter. Um, there's a lot of pressing enter. It kind of happens a whole lot. Um, yeah. But, uh, it's still... Anyways, just, you, you can read it. I'm not gonna read it. I don't really care. Go ahead and configure al unallocated space. Recommended. Okay. Press enter. Starting MS-DOS. Formatting. Drive C. It'll just take a second or two. Settings are correct. Click enter. And then 
I'm just gonna go ahead and put my files in uh, backslash Matt Matt's DOS because that's I like that. Um, I just have to wait a bit. It'll ask you for sev disk two, so uh, you gotta click into uh, devices here. Let me make the the scale factor a little larger. Sorry, it's, where's the scale factor? And there it is. Okay. Yeah, it's bigger. All right, so um, you you'll go ahead and uh, go into devices, and uh, do floppy drives, and do choose disk image. Then you wait for the file prompt to come up, and uh, you go ahead and click disk two. Then you go into devices, go f floppy drives. Choose disk image, disk three. I'm sorry, number number two didn't show up. My 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 video recorder didn't like that one. Anyways, just go ahead and choose each one from that one uh, folder um, for DOS and uh, remove all disks from floppy drives. So go into devices and uh, click uh, floppy drive and remove all all uh, floppy disks. And then uh, go ahead and re restart it. And uh, you'll go on to uh, um, starting MS DOS, and uh, you'll just do that and go ahead and put it in floppy drives. And then choose the disk image. Now here's when uh, Windows 3.1 actually comes into play. I found that at WinWorld on WinWorld. It's a great website. Do uh, disk one, and um, then uh, go ahead and. Uh, Type. Oh yeah, sorry, I I screwed up there. Um, you you have to do uh colon or a colon. Um, uh, sorry, I got a little bit lazy there. Well, let me see if I can do this. There we go. Alright, now, type setup. Good job. Now you're into the Windows setup, good job. And then you just click and, or press enter, click and press. They're not the same thing, I don't know why I keep on saying that. Maybe it's because I'm dumb, who knows. Just do express setup, uh, then go into devices and go and uh, go into floppy drive choose disk image and um, choose disk number two as it says on the little blue background with the, the white text you know that's super flashy and just go ahead and hit enter whenever you get it, each one and after a while it'll come up with this and um, uh, put down your name I'm uh, uh, now I'll, I'll do Stellaris. That goes better with my YouTube channel. And, uh, you know, yeah. Company, um, heh, heh, yeah, I don't work for a company. I'm, 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 I'm freaking 12. I'm only 12. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and click continue. That, that works. Uh, continue. And it'll set it up. Go ahead and click continue. Um. Oh wait, no, no. I'm sorry. Technical difficulties. Uh, no. Go into devices. Uh, floppy drives. Choose disk image. Do number four as it says. Go ahead and click continue. Uh, wait a second. Go and put in disk number five from the same folder. Uh, and floppy drives, choose disk image. And uh, you have to do this a whole lot. You have to choose disk number five, then disk number six, then disk number seven, then disk number eight. And <laughs> It, 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 no, I'm kidding. There's not a disk number eight. You just, you just go ahead and follow the steps it shows you. 
y yeah, you're not gonna have a printer attached, not on a virtual machine. So go ahead and click install. And um, after that, um, you go into MS DOS editor, or at least that's what I'm gonna do. Then sets it up. Uh, who cares about the tutorial? Skip it. Uh, skip the tutorial. Okay, then go ahead and do uh, 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 reboot. Uh, oh, wait. Okay. Yeah, do a reboot. I failed at that. More technical difficulties. Okay, so if any of you guys actually end up um, uh, following my steps because I'm stupid, go ahead and just power off the machine and start it back up. It, it does the exact same thing, but it's just a lot easier if you press reboot. <laughs> so it's not like you've completely failed if you followed after this stupid idiot's footsteps. As in, that means me. Oh, and by the way, go ahead and remove all the disks from the drive. I'm sorry, I forgot about that. Um, then uh, power off the machine. Then turn it back on. Then it'll be like starting MS DOS. Dun, dun, dun. Then go ahead and uh, uh, type in win because you you won at Windows. I don't know. I'm kidding. It it stands for Windows. And there you go. You did it. You you can do anything you want. You, you've got Windows 3.1. You're the coolest kid on the block. Even though it's like, what is this from? Like the early, what the early 90s. It's still pretty cool though, and uh, you can draw. Um. Okay, Windows 3.1 couldn't do a whole lot, but but you could still play. You know, go around and. You know, in, uh, here you can go into the MS-DOS prompt, which is pretty cool. You can do a lot of stuff in there and play video games. <laughs> and, um, uh, yeah, so now you can do all the cool stuff and be the cool kid. Good job. Congratulations. I give you a thumbs up and a clap. Go ahead and uh, uh, dislike below. It really helps my channel if you go ahead and <laughs> dislike it helps and uh, go ahead and uh, not subscribe I don't deserve it uh, anyways that's me and peace out that's what the cool kids do nowadays right they see peace out right if you actually watch the video all the way through which I did not expect you to then uh, go ahead and give yourself a pat on the back, you know? If you like, I, I watched one of Stellaris' videos. I mean, they're bad, but they just still give you something. <laughs> but uh, go ahead and uh, dislike the video, and uh, make sure to leave a comment spreading uh, as much hate as possible. No, I'm kidding. Alright, see you guys.